Hello, Grade 11s, and welcome to the task video for the series Working with Data Handling. These questions have been designed to check your understanding of the skills covered in the series. You will find the questions and answers in written form in the series guide called A Guide to Working with Data Handling. Let us get started with the first question. Look at the following questions and state if they are reliable or not. If not, rewrite the questions to make it reliable. Do you own a laptop? If you do have a laptop, do you use it for schoolwork? Do you drink alcohol? Have you ever drunk alcohol while underage at school? How old are you? What age should it be made legal for learners to smoke at school? Do you play a sport at school or with a club? Well done. That is your first question done. Let's move on to the next one. For each of the following scenarios, decide which method of collecting data would be the best choice. Provide a reason for your answer. Gathering data about the choice of sports learners in grade 10 do at your school. Gathering data about the vehicles that drive past the spaza shop between the times of 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Gathering data about why learners do not like attending assembly at school. The next question covers organizing data, more specifically classifying data. Data can be classified into two main types. What are these two types? What are the differences between discrete and continuous data? Classify each of these as categorical, discrete, or continuous data. The number of SMSs you send per day. The number of grade 11s who play soccer at your school. The temperature in Pretoria over the months of June and July. The brands of cell phones that learners in your school use. Well done. Now for the next question, where we'll be organizing data using groups and tables. The grade 11 life sciences students at your school conduct a study on 50 bean plants. After growing for 90 days, the plant's heights were measured and rounded off to the nearest centimeter. The data was recorded in groups on a frequency table. Complete the following table by adding in the tally. How many bean plants had a height of less than 35 centimeters? How many bean plants had a height of 19 centimeters or less? How many bean plants had a height of between 25 and 44 centimeters? What conclusions could you draw from the heights of the bean plants? Good work. I hope you're feeling more confident in your work. In the next question, we analyze data presented in a pie chart. Your school principal is very interested in what types of food the learners are buying at the school tuck shop. He believes that a healthier approach to school lunches is needed. This shows the type of lunches bought by a random sample of 50 learners. How many learners completed the survey? How many of the learners bought pies? What fraction of learners bought burgers? What fraction of learners bought hot dogs? What were the most and least popular choices of tuck shop food? How many degrees are represented by each sector of the pie chart? The data set shows the number of hours in a week 25 teenagers spent watching television. Their times have been rounded off and are correct to the nearest hour. Arrange the data in ascending order. Calculate the mean or average time teenagers spent watching television. Round your answer off to the nearest hour. What does the mean tell us about the time teenagers spent watching television? Calculate the median. What does the median tell us about the time these teenagers spent watching television? Why should we use the mean to discuss this data instead of the median or mode? We have now reached our last question in this task video. Let's have a look. Study the following graph and answer the questions. 
What are your first impressions of seeing this graph? Describe what you see the graph is portraying as if you were explaining this to your parents. Do you think that the graph is misleading? If yes, in what ways is this graph misleading? Well, we've come to the end of this task video. Remember to check your answers in a guide to working with data handling. If you would like more resources on this section, check our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.